everyone. My name is Carrie Greenwood. I'm the Assistant Director for Fitness with Campus Recreation. We're so proud of you for finishing your virtual 5K today, and you should be proud of yourself for getting out and getting moving. Uh, we have just a little bit for you today to get stretched out. Um, make sure you're not so sore tomorrow and carry on your way. So please just follow along if you're looking for that post-run stretch. Um, to start yourself off, be sure that you've cooled down sufficiently, and if you need to walk a little bit to get that heart rate coming back more to resting, once you're feeling like you're at that resting heart rate, you can go ahead and start going through some of our stretches. We want a nice static hold stretch, so that means we're going to hold it for 30 seconds to a minute, um, starting with a little quad stretch. So if you need to find a wall, something to balance on, go ahead and do that. If not, you can kind of stand in place. Um, be sure to keep your knees stacked under your hips and pull that heel towards your glutes to get that nice big stretch to the front of that quad. If you need to lift one arm up, touch your nose or even hold your ear, sometimes that's good to help yourself balance. So go ahead, find one of those quads to pull up and be sure that you're stretching out nice and solid there. So we're gonna hold that for about 30 seconds on each side. When you're ready to switch, you're gonna step that leg down. Go ahead, swing the other foot back up. Same thing, you can use that arm to balance. Hold your ear, touch that nose, but really find something to focus on out in front. Again, try not to let that knee come out. You wanna maintain that knee alignment square underneath those hips, pulling that heel toward the glute, feeling that big stretch to the belly of that quadricep. Very nice. From here, we can let that foot down. Um, and we're going to go into what's called a deep runner's lunge. So to set that up, we can step one foot forward, one foot back. We're going to um, be sure that we have ourselves braced. We're going to drop that back knee down so that we have a 90 degree angle, a 90 degree angle in both of our knees. And then we can hold those arms straight up overhead, holding this big stretch. If we want more of a deep stretch in our hips here, we can let that knee come down, tuck our back foot flat. Arms can stay forward, and now we can press our hips forward into this runner's lunge. Another option here is to take our hands, bring them on the inside of that foot, heel toe out, placing both hands on the inside arch of that front foot. And then we're going to take the same hand that we have our front knee bent, and we're going to reach up, come into a nice twisting posture. So a little front angle for that. That split stance again. That back knee can drop down. Opening into a nice twisting rotation lunge here. Another option here, if you don't want to put that back knee on the ground, you can still hold that twisting posture with that knee elevated. Again, we're trying to hold these static stretches for 30 seconds to a minute, and then switching to the other side. Bring that hand down, you can step back into that push-up position. Bring that opposite foot forward. Again, you can always start at that 90-90 posture, arms overhead. Bring those arms back, gaze to the sky to open the chest more. Hands can come down, coming into that twisting rotation move. Again, that back knee can be down a little bit more to open the hips. Very good. Once you've held that posture, you can bring those hands back down. Bringing our feet together now, we're going to take our feet a little wider than shoulder width apart here, sitting back and down. Good. Elbows can come onto the inner thigh, stretching the inner thigh out here, almost in a frog position. So again, our hips hinge back, sitting back and down, opening those knees slightly away from the body. Good. From here, placing our hands on the ground if we can, standing nice and tall, bringing our feet together so that we're about shoulder width apart. Maybe we can touch the ground. Option here, bringing those forearms together, tucking that chin into our chest, letting our head relax. Arms can be loose, we can even ragdoll from side to side. Big thing here, that heart rate's still elevated, keeping our chest up. If we feel comfortable with that head tucked down, we can. So whatever option's best for you here. Very good. Just a couple more stretches we can go through to make sure that we are feeling good after this race. We're going to come into that set stance again, propping one leg forward, hip hinging, stability leg is bent slightly, and then we're going to reach for that toe. 
So from here, our goal is not to touch the toe, but simply to reach for the toe. We should feel a big stretch through the calf, up into the hamstring, and around into the glutes. So for that front angle, again, set stance. One leg comes out, stability leg has a soft bend in the knee, hip pinch, and reach forward, bracing ourselves on that stability leg, reaching for that toe. Again, focusing on that full straightening of our leg here, big stretch into the hamstrings, into the calves. Very good. Holding each side for 30 seconds to a minute. Very nice. From here, we can stand up. If you're looking for more of a challenge today for these stretches, we can come into a nice standing figure four, crossing one ankle over the knee, sitting back into that balancing figure four posture. So holding, again, if you need a wall or something to help with your stability here, move over to a wall or tree or something that's a little stable for you. You can also transition down to the ground for this figure four, crossing one knee over, threading the needle with your hands and then drawing that knee into your chest. So this is also an option to come down to the mat or to the ground or to the floor, wherever you're at for your stretching to finish out with those figure four. Switching sides. If you're on the ground, go ahead and switch with me. If you're in that standing posture, you're gonna to switch to the other side, crossing that knee over and sitting back into that figure four standing option here. Catching your breath, inhaling in, inhaling out, noticing that heart rate should be coming down even more and these stretches feel nice and good. Our last few stretches, just going to stretch our chest and back. So to start our back first, chin to chest, rounding or giving that beach ball a hug, opening gaze to sky. For that side view here, rounding the shoulder blades, hugging the chin to chest, opening gaze to the sky. Good, option there to hold that posture for a few more breaths, or if it feels better, to simply move between the two, connecting that breath. Very good, that's the wrap up of our stretches. You can repeat everything that we did a couple more times, but remember we're looking for a nice static hold for those stretches at the end of that cool down after that 5K. So congratulations, and we hope to see you next time.